Good morning vlog! It is Wednesday so I am heading to lunch with my family. Today we are at a part of downtown Fremont that's pretty new. Like I don't think I've ever been around this area before and there's like new buildings, new restaurants and shops and stuff and they opened a sliver pizzeria here which is from Berkeley. It's a very well-known pizza place in Berkeley. I have been there a few times like many many years ago so I'm actually really excited to give them a try and I'm excited that they're in Fremont now so let's go eat some pizza! This is the green sauce, and then they also have a fire sauce. But the green sauce is what they're known for. I love the green sauce, so good. This one is the potato pizza, and we got it on a gluten-free crust. And then this one is the mushroom one, and we got it on a normal crust. I think it's sourdough. And then I have my little green sauces here to go, or ready to go. <laughs> and then we also got the loaded waffle fries. I believe it has caramelized onions, corn, cheese, and the ranch as well. It looks good, it looks crispy. Ooh, look at that cheese pull. <laughs> Yummy! The mushroom one has like four different kinds of mushrooms in it, like shiitake, chanterelle, etc, etc. <laughs> and then there's mozzarella, fresh herbs, and garlic infused olive oil. I'm gonna pour my green sauce on there. Don't be shy. <laughs> <laughs> The crust is nice and chewy. Mm -hmm. Very good. So this is the potato one on gluten-free crust. It has potato, spinach, caramelized onions, herbs, garlic infused olive oil, and mozzarella. Gotta put the green sauce on, of course. Mm. The gluten-free crust is thinner. And it's not as chewy, but that kind of makes sense. Mm -hmm. But it's still good. It's still good. I like it. Mm -hmm. Delish. Hello, delish. <laughs> was, yeah, was it delish? Yes, very delish. Yeah. Would you recommend? Which one was your favorite? The mushroom one. Oh yeah. The mushroom one was better. I agree. Yes. Yeah. It has more flavor than the potato one. The, the potato one is not bad though. Oh yeah, it's not yeah. bad. <laughs> and especially you kind of pour a volcano worth of. Uh, all those sauces on there. <laughs> ah, Did like you so like delicious. the red sauce or the green sauce better? I like the red sauce because it has a bigger kick. Yeah, it's spicier. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Delish. Delish. Okay, so we just got some boba um, because my friend is visiting. Hello. No, I'm not him. <laughs> this is Janelle. Hello. <laughs> and so she's never tried TBT before, so I knew that we had to take her there. And she got my favorite strawberry milk tea. And is it good? It's bomb. <laughs> I got a watermelon blast. I think it's a seasonal one. And since summer is like pretty much over, I thought I would just give it a try because they're probably gonna take it off the menu soon. And Bird, what did you get? Diguayin. Noodles. Oh, you got noodles? Yeah, he got the QQ noodles. Mm. The ones that are like boba shaped like noodles. Ah! Oh yeah, and the watermelon blast comes with crystal boba on the bottom too. Mmm, mmm. Tastes like fresh watermelon juice with crystal boba. Very refreshing. What do you mean it tastes like strawberries on a summer evening? Mm -mm. Yeah, it so it like tastes like watermelon sugar. But yeah, so after this, I'm gonna edit some stuff and then we're also gonna go to dinner, which we did not decide where we're going yet, but we will decide and I'll show you guys where we end up going. Nice. <laughs> Look at Tony's face. She looks so funny. Maybe it's the angle that I'm at, but she looks so funny. All right, now I am uploading this vlog and I am about to make the thumbnail for it. So when I make a thumbnail for the vlog, it's different from the main channel because I think I walked you guys through how I do it on the main channel. But for the vlog, I kind of just take screenshots of stuff that happened in the vlog. And then I pick one of these templates. Well, I really only just use this one that's like four 
and they're like evenly spread out. Oh, no, we're gonna use the free version. This app is Pixar, by the way. So then I go to ratio and I make it the YouTube ratio. And then I take off the borders. So it's like, just like that. And then I choose the other pictures that I'm gonna put in it. This one has like some fall decor stuff. So maybe I'll include this. I'll kind of play around with it. See which photos I like for the thumbnail. In this one, I cooked lunch too, so maybe I'll add a picture of the lunch that I made. Or maybe I'll just do sushi. That looks a bit more appetizing. And then Bird also did a Lego update, so maybe I'll put the Lego thing here. Actually, hmm, I don't like how this, these two look too similar, so maybe I'll switch them like this. Oh no, I don't really like that either. No, I want this one here, and then I'll switch these two. Like that. I think that's better, yeah. And then basically I just add a little text and I'll write something that the video is about. I don't know, I'll, maybe I'll say like fall decorations or something. I'll probably change it, but let's just say that for now. And then I change the color to white. I add a border to the text and I usually make it like blue. That's pretty much how I do the thumbnails for the vlog. So once I have this done, I'm gonna upload it here. Oh yeah, and then I also want to show you guys because we're going to Davis soon. So we have someone that's gonna watch the cats while we're gone. And Bird made this little document on how to take care of the cats. And I thought it was so cute. He actually did way better of a job than I would have done. <laughs> I did not expect it to be this elaborate and cute. So I just thought I would pointed out a little bird appreciation moment. <laughs> and I like how he put these pictures of them and he also wrote Tony, Rigatoni, Ollie, Ravioli. <laughs> and then he has these little descriptions of them. I thought it was so cute, but yeah. And then he kind of writes all this other stuff about how to take care of them. But I thought it was very cute. Good job, bird. We decided to go to Prime BBQ. I think a few vlogs ago, we tried to go here, but it was closed for lunch. So we're here for dinner when it's open. And also what we like about this place, not only is our food good, but they also open late until midnight. So if we ever have a late night craving, it is open. <laughs> I'm so excited. I love skewers. got some chicken gizzard. These four are chicken gizzard. And then we have chicken skin, shiitake mushroom, king oyster mushroom, and prime ribeye. Then also we got some shishito peppers, uh, chicken karage, and this one is a uni tamago. Look at that. Looks so good. All right, let's dig in. Cheers. <laughs> It's very creamy because the egg yolk's creamy and then the uni's really creamy too. I don't know if I've ever had egg and uni together, but it's good. I have not. This is the mochi bacon. It's so good. I remember specifically that I loved this one last time. So we got one for each of us. Wait, where'd you take that from? That's gizzard. <laughs> <laughs> they keep bringing more and more stuff, but I think everything is here. I think this last one was the grilled chicken skewers. Those look good too. Oh, and they also have enoki mushroom. And yeah, I think that's everything. Let's dig in. Birds eating shishito peppers. I swear shishito peppers aren't spicy. It's swear. supposed to be like one in every 20 is spicy or something like that, or one in every 10. I've eaten like hella of them in one sitting and it's never spicy to me. Oh, that one's not. It's spicy? Yeah. Oh, wow. Dang it. <laughs> Hopefully one of mine's is spicy. All right, we're gonna try my fave, the mochi bacon. Cheers. I'll get, get your guys' reaction. Is it good? Mm -hmm. I had to convince her to want to try it. <laughs> it's so good. The is so soft. Mm. Mm. It's like a streak. Hot. Light and crispy on the outside. Very hot and juicy on the inside. Good. All right, let's see if it's spicy. Not spicy. 
not spicy. Not spicy. I swear I ordered some and they were all spicy. Really? But I'm also weak. I swear. Not spicy. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Unlucky. There's never a day where I'll have spicy shishito pepper. I'm gonna eat a gizzard. I love chicken oh, gizzard nice. skewers. Crunchy and delicious. Chicken skin. Mm. Crispy. But it's actually not as crispy as some of the other chicken skin skewers I've had before. I feel like usually it's crispier. Still good. Shiitake mushroom. Mm. Mm. Oh, very flavorful and umami. Because mushrooms already had a lot of flavor, but then when you like grill it on the skewers and all that stuff, adds extra smoky flavor. Very good. Prime ribeye. Hmm. Not like hella hella tender, but also not super tough either, but has really good flavor. Nice seasoning. Grilled chicken. Mmm. So juicy. Literally everything we ordered is good. Last but not least, enoki mushroom. Look at how they skewered it like this. I know. I've never seen it served like this before. <laughs> Let's go for it. Send it. Oh. Send it. Mmm, <laughs> crunchy, flavorful, but I still prefer my enoki in hot pot more. But wow, everything delish. We are at the mall now because someone He's pointing at you. <laughs> Someone wanted to go to the Lego store. Look at him. He's so happy. <laughs> He's so excited. Oh, is there any new stuff? This one's new. Whoa, it's huge. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's new. No, it was there last time. Oh, it's that's not new. <laughs> Wait, this is lit. Chess. Because then you can play chess. Yeah, it's like multifunctional. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is the one that we have. Did we have that? Did you yeah, see I, that? I, I saw that. Yeah. I actually think that's my favorite one. Yeah, we like yeah. that one. This is cool too. Yeah, yeah it's, it's very awesome. pretty. Yeah, he Super that. pretty. And the Tranquil Garden is cute too. We also have the office set we showed you guys. Oh, the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, that one's very tall. I haven't seen that. Oh, oh they even God. have a roller coaster Wait, one. Look at that. This one is cool because it moves because there's like a crank and then the Pac-Man oh, people like, move. Oh, like the joy, joy yeah. stick actually oh, work? Not, no, it's just like a crank thing, I think. A on crank the side. thing? Oh, yeah. like on the side here? Yeah. You can't see it in the photo, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Wait, oh my god, there's Chewy. I love Chewy. Yeah. He's so cute. He looks better in real life. But this set? Still, yeah, but he got his eyes a little wrong. The eyes look a little creepy. Yeah. But it's cool. Like this. He's next to the Millennium Falcon. Yeah. Where's Han Solo? Oh, he's here. <laughs> Look at how, how small Han Solo is. And then <laughs> the comparison to Chewie. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, wait, there's a small Chewie here. Yeah. Oh, and a pumpkin. Ah, spooky. Okay, wait, can I name all these people? Okay, so that's Han Solo. That's C3PO. That's Chewie. And then I guess that's young Han Solo. And then let's see, is this supposed to be Ray? Bird, is this supposed to be Ray? Yeah. So that's Ray, and then that's Finn. Yeah. BB 8, and the pork. Yeah. And then, what? who's this? Is that supposed to be Leia? Yeah. Ah, see, I did, I named everyone. Nice. Good job, me. We are having lunch on our patio again, and I got a chicken tostada salad from Sweet Green. Bird got his usual buffalo chicken salad. He literally <laughs> only gets that. I've tried like, I don't even know, like six or seven different things from Sweet Green. Bird always stays true to his buffalo chicken salad. Loyal. <laughs> and then we also have our smoothies. I pretty much finished mine. And we are watching Magic Journeys. They have a new video. Lunch. Make big. Okay. <laughs> Hello 
vlog. Sorry, it has been a while. It has been like pretty much the whole day. It's 6.30 now, but all I was doing was really just working at my desk. I had a lot of admin work to do and I just had to like finish things up before our trip to Davis tomorrow. And I kept getting this feeling of like excitement that we're going to Davis tomorrow. It's kind of like when you're a kid and then it's like the day before your birthday <laughs> or it's like the day before something exciting is gonna happen and you just have those like little jitters of excitement so that's kind of how i've been feeling all day but me and bird are about to go on a walk i'll probably still do some work when we get back i don't really know what we're gonna do we might watch the netflix i don't know i'll keep you guys updated on what we're doing we have stuff to do still today <laughs> look at the fall leaves crunch 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 i love fall <laughs> All right, we are back from our walk. Sorry, don't mind me, I'm kind of shiny because I was sweating on the walk because it was so hot today. And speaking of which, it reminded us that tomorrow in Davis, it's gonna be like 93 degrees in October. So yeah, not super excited about that. I was so excited to like walk around and stuff, but I don't know how much we're gonna really walk around because it's gonna be so hot. So we'll see. But now we're back and we're gonna heat up this leftover sliver pizza from yesterday for dinner. We had two boxes. Bird ate the other one earlier today. It was one slice of potato and one slice of mushroom. So he ate that. And then here we have two slices of the potato and Bird, after trying the mushroom and the potato, he agreed that he likes the mushroom one better. So I think the overall consensus was that we like the mushroom one better than the potato, but the potato one's good too. But I also saw so many reviews about it and people really, really, really like it. So that's why we want to try it. And not that it's not good. It's just the mushroom one is more flavorful and this one's a bit bland. Land. But yeah, that's what we're gonna have for dinner. All right, I heated the pizza at 450 for five minutes in the oven, and then we have our little green sauce. So good. If you eat the potato pizza without the green sauce, it's very, very bland. But if you eat it with the green sauce, it's much better. And then we also have been watching this new Netflix show. It's like a Korean reality TV game show would you say bird yeah yeah it's like they do these challenges and stuff yeah so we've been really into watching that and i think we're probably gonna finish it tonight or at least the available episodes there are like 10 episodes right yeah but yeah. there's gonna be more coming up yeah we're gonna watch this we're gonna eat our pizza yum yum <laughs> good morning vlog it is officially the morning of us going to davis so i'm about to get ready and what i like to do to pack all my makeup and stuff is I get ready and then after I do each step, then I pack it so that I don't forget anything. I already put my sunscreen on. I'm super excited to go. Obviously, I feel like I've just been talking about that this whole vlog and we're kind of going with a loose itinerary. I mean, we didn't really plan a lot of stuff. We kind of just have a list of stuff that we'd like to do or like to eat and then we're kind of going to wing it. I think a lot of it too is because it's going to be hella hot. So like, we also don't know if we can stick through a schedule because we might just need to hang out inside for a while when it's like super hot. So yeah, we're kind of winging it, taking it easy, but I hope we get to eat all the things we want to eat. <laughs> I'm honestly really even excited for the drive there because in college we used to listen to all these road trip songs. I used to drive home to the bay a lot on the weekends so i feel like we're just gonna listen to a bunch of songs that we used to listen to in college so that it puts us in the mood and like all the nostalgia will come back it's gonna be fun i'm excited i wish we could stay longer because i feel like we're not gonna be able to do that much in just a you know less than two day trip but we'll try to make the most of it. We were debating if we should go to SAC just for like one of the meals. I think we're gonna try, although I think it might even be hotter in SAC than Davis, I don't know. There's this Shabu place that we really like there. It's an all you can eat Shabu. And we used to go there in college. It's called Heat Shabu. And fun fact, in my senior year at Davis, they were having this competition on Instagram where like you post a picture of their Shabu and then they had like, three winners or something and the top three pictures with the most likes got free all you can eat shabu for six months and i was one of them yeah that was like one of the best things <laughs> about college i mean i think like i don't usually win stuff so that was exciting 
and then i mean free all you can eat shabu for six months is like literally insane it was so nice even though obviously if i brought like bird with me then obviously bird has to pay but we're basically at that point basically we're gonna get like 50 percent off you know yeah it was really nice and they didn't have any limit like they were like as long as you don't come in more than once per day which like why would you do that and i already really loved that place before i even won that contest so yeah me and bird try to go there whenever we visit but like it is all you can eat and we might be really full and it's also in sack which i'm yeah not still not quite sure if we're gonna go to sack but the other thing that i would go to sack for is gunther's gunther's ice cream i think i've vlogged them before because one time jessica brought me some because she was in sack but yeah gunther's is my all-time favorite ice cream I've eaten so much ice cream in my life and Gunther's is still my all-time favorite so I'm very excited. I'm already like starting to sweat doing my makeup <laughs> and we're not even in Davis yet. It's gonna be so much hotter there. So yikes, not looking forward to the heat. But yeah, I'm also excited because I know there's some new like boba shops and stuff in Davis so I wanna try some of them. When I was a freshman, there really was like not much boba in Davis at all. There was this place called Tebow. It wasn't that great but it was like fine like compared to the other options that davis had there were some places where you could get boba but they weren't boba shops like you could get it at a five restaurant you could get it at open rice kitchen which is like kind of like a fast food chinese takeout place kind of ish we used to go there a lot because they have really good like fried rice and like noodles and stuff or like really good for after you had a night out you know that kind of food and then when i left davis like when i graduated there was like over 10 boba shops so we started out with like practically nothing and then over the four year period like 10 boba shops opened yeah and i think more have opened since then as well so i'm excited to try some of them and i'm also curious just to see how different davis is from when we were there all right i'm gonna do my eyeliner and then i'm gonna finish packing and then we're gonna go and i'm gonna end the vlog here so that the davis vlog can be its own separate vlog so that's it for this vlog if you made it this far comment below have fun in davis and i'll see you guys in the next vlog bye